Hey guys, welcome back to our special coverage of the new Milwaukee MX Fuel Equipment System. Specifically, we're going to take a quick look at their new MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw. This guy is big. It boasts a true 14 inch cut capacity, great performance, and several other improvements. During the Milwaukee demonstration, they measured 75% less vibration, which actually led to an unexpected but welcome drop in noise by 50%. Of course, the new XC406 MX Red Lithium battery, combined with the Power State brushless motor and the Red Link Plus Intelligent system, returned some significant numbers on performance. Milwaukee claims that two XC battery packs would deliver the equivalent of one tank of gas. Examples given were 25 cinder blocks, or 10 8 inch cast iron pipes and more. There are other obvious advantages to a powerful electric motor over a gas engine. Way less maintenance and repairs, it's much quicker for start time, no fuel management, usable indoors, an average user will even save $100 a year in fuel cost. Based on the promised performance, it appears Milwaukee is going after the steel TS420 or the 440. We'll have to wait and see how it does once demo units become available. Until then, let's take a look at the secret presentation Milwaukee made back at MPS 19 that we were only allowed to show you today. So you think of carburetor, $70, winterization, $100 plus, straight gas in the tank, that's four or $500 easy. And so by eliminating that gas engine, we can eliminate a lot of the common repair costs throughout the year too. As well as on top of that, the cost of fuel, oil, pre-mixed gas, whatever it might be, versus the cost of charging a battery. We could save you, you know, $100 a year for the average user real easy. And then next thing is um, looking at the productivity savings because that's where the real savings comes in by eliminating any downtime associated with not being able to get that saw started, not being able to work that day, or having to send it in to get it serviced and repaired, or trying to rent something else to get your work done that day. And then comes down to, that's great, but feel the power, the performance, how much work can I get done on a battery? How much runtime can I get? And so the MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw or operate off of any pack within the platform. We'll have our CP pack as well as our XC pack. This product really demands the power, performance, and runtime that gets delivered by our XC pack. One of the most challenging products we've ever done. And so when you look up here, behind me you see a bunch of common applications. A lot of pipe cutting, corrugated decking, block, rebar. We have concrete over in the corner here. And with these applications behind me, with two XC packs, we can deliver the same amount of work as a tank of gas on the number one uh, gas saw in the marketplace. So if you look at ductile iron, we can get nine cuts in eight inch ductile iron on two XC packs. Tank of gas, also nine. Gas, we're one cut beyond 10 to nine. Block, we're 25 to 25. Easier applications, we can even get more. So with PVC up here, you know, it's 59 to 33 cuts. Decking, more than 2x the amount of cuts you can get. And then rebar, again, well beyond. Concrete, cutting concrete, five inch, fully plunged, that full depth of cut, slab of concrete, that's the most challenging thing we've ever done. You look at um, why there's not battery technology in this space today, it's because of that. That was the hardest thing we've done and it really pushed us to develop, you know, ground up new designs for batteries, motors, and electronics across the board. And so that's where it's a little bit tougher, so we get three of our XC batteries is equivalent to that tank of gas. Uh, so with a, a single XC pack, you're about the five and a half to six and a half foot range. And so the big thing there is you look at uh, cutting concrete by hand. We have our uh, saw in the cart over here. And so when you cut by hand, it's easy to kind of get off that line and you can bind up the blade a little bit. And whenever you have that blade engaged in more material, you're gonna lose efficiency. If you use the walk behind cart, it'll stabilize that blade for you so you get the most efficient cut. The next thing is our saw comes in at 31.9 pounds. And so if you're gonna make a lot of long trench cuts or you know maybe even just one inch scores and you don't wanna uh, hold the weight of the product, you can throw it in the cart, it'll support all that weight for you. Now you're just going for a walk. And so when you take all that, pull together, that's how we deliver the best 14 inch cutoff saw experience. But it's not just about that, because this product changes the way that people view what you can power with battery technology today. And I've seen it throughout the, the entire project from four years ago to interacting with people with the product today that were field tested. And when we started, it was, 
hey, what should we do next? Like, what could be battery powered? And we got a lot of, you know, oh, it seems like you guys have everything already. I'm not really sure. And it's, well, you have a lot of issues with your two-stroke saw, you were telling me. Like, what if we made a battery powered version of that? And I literally had people yell at me, say, what, why, why would you do that? No, like, don't, don't waste your time. That battery would be huge. That's a terrible idea. Make a better vacuum first. Okay, make a better vacuum. We'll take that feedback back. Since then, we've made a better vacuum. Uh, but we weren't giving up on this. And we, we take it out now, and we have people use it. We'll get it out, set it on the ground, and say, hey, you want to cut? And say, yeah, OK. So where's the recoil? It's like, no, it's battery power. And the people are immediately disappointed because they're so skeptical. They're like, all right, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll cut it. It's over here. And you can tell they just can't wait to tell you, you didn't do it. Try again. Nice try. Great idea. And then they put the battery on. They start to cut. And it doesn't take more than a couple seconds. And then they start to look at it. You get it all the time. Like, wow. It so does six, feel like my gas. Six, six feet of yep. one, one, one battery. Yep. And that's when it's, yep, it is like my gas. And then they start asking for all the stuff that they told us we'd be crazy if we tried to make battery powered before. And they say, hey, you know, make us a battery powered version of this or an MX fuel version of that. And so it's really gonna change the way that we view what solutions we can go out and provide to our users today. There are six different tools coming to the all new Milwaukee MX Fuel Equipment System. You can learn about all of them by clicking on this playlist. If you'd like to be the very first to get your hands on the new system, pre-order should be available at ohiopowertool.com. Don't forget, you can find us here every Friday at 5 p.m. for our Power Tool Week in Review. We'll see you then.